On Saturday we had a fairly momentous uh, occurrence right here in Queen's Park. Um, we had the unveiling of the Butchula Warriors Memorial and it was a project that's taken us several years to, to bring to life. But its creation really began 25 years ago when a friend of mine, John Phelan, who was doing some work for me in the South Burnet, asked me the question, where are, all, where are the monuments to Aboriginal men who died defending their country? Uh, there are plenty of monuments for men who went away and died defending the British Empire, but there are none that recognise that Aboriginal men died defending their country. On Saturday morning when people started to come into the park, I, I expected there would be a reasonable amount of people. And I stood and watched and and I couldn't believe that people just kept coming in and coming in until this space was completely filled. And uh, standing out in front of a, a large crowd like that was uh, uh, a fairly daunting experience. And um, I'm, I'm glad to say that uh, we got through it. Um, I think the most emotional moment was at the end when I asked everybody to join in the song um, we are one, but we are many. And I, I'm pretty sure everybody was singing. And it was just unbelievable that the group of people who came down to see the unveiling of this monument um, just joined in and, 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 you know, just made the most of the moment. And it was pretty powerful. This is a monument about service and sacrifice. It's a monument about bravery and loyalty. It's a monument for warriors who died defending their country, their family, their loved ones, and their lands. I'm very, very proud of what our community has done here. This is the first such monument for Aboriginal warriors in Australia, Aboriginal warriors defending their lands. I think Australia, in the coming decades and generations, will continue to get a better understanding of its history, a fuller, more truthful understanding, and it's monuments like this in communities up and down Australia that'll help inform that, help guide a spirit of reconciliation.